In this video, we will be discussing about chemicals that affect the microfilaments and microtubules. First of all, let's see the actin specific or microfilament specific chemicals. First, we have the cytochalcin D. This cytochalcin D binds plus ends of the actin filaments and prevents elongation. Here in this diagram, we have the actin filament with minus and plus ends. And on the right, we have cytochalcin D. This cytochalcin D comes in and binds the plus end of actin filaments, which prevents further elongation of actin filament as shown in the animation. The second chemical that affects microfilaments or actin filaments is the latrinculin. It binds the G-actin monomers and prevents them from polymerizing into filaments. Basically, latrinculin binds actin monomers near the nucleotide binding cleft and halts polymerization. Then we have sevenholide. It severs F-actin filaments. So this is also actin disrupting chemical. Then we have phalodin. It binds and stabilizes filaments. This phalodin substance binds and stabilizes filamentous actin and effectively prevents the depolymerization of actin fibers. And finally we have jaspalakinolide. It is a microcyclic peptide molecule. It induces actin polymerization by stimulating actin filament nucleation and also stabilizes F-actins. It must be noted that it competes with the phalodin for actin binding sites. Now let's move towards microtubule specific chemicals. First we have nocadazole. It causes microtubules to depolymerize into tubulin subunits. And by this action it prevents their polymerization. The second is the colchicine. This colchicine binds tubulin subunits and prevents their polymerization and same is done by the colcimide. Then we have paclitaxel. It binds microtubules and stabilizes them. Then there is vinblastine. It binds beta tubulin to prevent polymerization also. And finally we have vincristine which has capability to bind free tubulin units to prevent polymerization. So these are the major chemicals that affect the cytoskeleton dynamics in both positive and negative manner. Most of the chemicals have been used in medical research and in various therapies. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.